Hello guys, welcome to another video. Here I have is NVIDIA GT730 with 1GB of GDDR5 VRAM and a 64-bit memory bus. Back in the days, gaming on a 64-bit graphics card was quite common. But can we still play games on a 64-bit memory bus? Let's put this on test and find out. Starting off with GTA 5 with 720p resolution on low to medium settings, the FPS are above 60 and game is kinda smooth but GTA 5 is a CPU intensive game. The GTA 5 is working quite well. Let's run it on some high GPU dependent game. So we are running Rise of the Tomb Raider on 720p low resolution. And here you go, the disaster begins. The FPS are down under 30. The frame time has increased, thus making this game quite unplayable. Lara, the train yard is on the north end of the Gulag. I'll wait for you there. On my way. The control room door is... Next up is Counter-Strike Global Offensive which is kind of a balanced game in terms of CPU and GPU dependencies because the first game tested was a CPU intensive, the second one was a GPU intensive so I decided the final one to be a balanced game. I am playing this on 1080p auto very high settings and it is giving me not so good FPS in terms of a competitive gaming. Maybe you can play Counter Strike on 720p low settings if you have a 64 bit graphics card. Finally, the conclusion is that gaming on a 64 bit GPU is completely dead because by adding a little more in your budget, you can get a 128-bit graphics card which will surely perform way better than this. Well, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. See you next time.